Hello, I am Sam Keen, author of the book The Disappearing Spoon, which is a romp through the periodic table with a funny, spooky, weird story about every single element on the table. And today I'm excited to guest host An Element a Day in May with a story about Element 80, Mercury. Now, because I wrote a book about the periodic table, people are always asking me, what's your favorite element? And I always tell them it is Mercury up here and every other element below that. Mercury is by far my favorite element for a few reasons. One, I have good memories of it from my childhood. Uh, I used to accidentally break a lot of thermometers when I was a kid. And my mother used to collect all of the mercury from them, and we used to play with it sometimes. So I really thought it was a fun, gorgeous, amazing substance. In fact, I think it's the most gorgeous substance on the periodic table, bar none. Even more interesting and beautiful than gold. The other reason I really like mercury is that it has a very long and rich history. It goes back thousands and thousands of years to Greek and Roman times, and throughout history after that, you see mercury popping up over and over in all of these different contexts. Uh, alchemists were obsessed with it, for instance. It also has a very long and unusual history in medicine, which maybe doesn't sound right because mercury is kind of a poisonous element, but it does have a long history in medicine. Uh, in particular, if you look at the history of Lewis and Clark, the famous explorers, they actually took a large number of mercury-based pills with them when they went trekking through the wilderness. Uh, these were very, very large pills. Each was about four times the size of an aspirin. And there's really no delicate way to put it, but these pills were extremely powerful laxatives. Uh, they called them thunderclappers. And the idea was that if Lewis and Clark ate something they shouldn't have or drank some questionable water, they could take one of these pills with mercury and it would flush them out, so to speak. It would get rid of everything inside their body. And we know that Lewis and Clark used these pills and we know that they actually worked quite well because they'd had kind of an unusual side benefit for historians and archeologists today in that they can actually still pinpoint a few places or they know Lewis and Clark must have stayed because the level of mercury in the soil is just too high for it to have been natural. And that's why I love the periodic table. From just this one element, you can talk about medicine, alchemy, you can talk about the beauty of science, you can talk about so many different things based on this one element. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll pick up a copy of my book, and I especially hope you'll watch all of the episodes of Jessica Hendrickson's An Element A Day in May. Thank you.